I seem to hear with dad verb. So compact strollers are my favorite category of stroller to review. I love that you can push your kids comfortably without the bulk and weight of a full or you know, a mid-sized stroller. Personally, I think you can get away with using these uh, as your primary daily drivers, especially for city living. Now, I've only ever really been high on the Upper Baby Menu, which I reviewed in 2018, and then the Kalugo Compact, which I reviewed in 2020, and that's it. But I am excited to get into a new favorite of mine, which is the Ergo Metro Plus. It's coming in at 299, which is just a little bit more than the Kalugo Compact, which retails at 285, but off the bat, it is super easy to tell that from a quality standpoint, Ergo is definitely on top. I would say, yeah, it is at the level of the Upper Baby menu, except it's $100 cheaper, so this is a very hard stroller to ignore. Uh, the biggest appeal behind any compact stroller is gonna be the size and ease of use. It can serve uh, as a viable stroller for daily use, errand running, um, the traveling, while taking up minimal space in your home, your car, or you know, just while you're out. The fold is very similar to the menu where you're only using one hand. You unlock the switch on the underside of the handle, you press the button, and then begin the fold once it's all the way down. I really like that there's a dedicated handle to lift the stroller and carry it as needed. It only weighs about 17 pounds, so you know, lifting it out of your trunk and, and moving it around the house, it's gonna be a lot easier compared to mid and full size options. It tucks away nicely, and, and based on my dimensions, it stands at 22 inches tall, 17 and a half inches wide, and 10 inches deep. Its profile makes it great for air travel, uh, and on my Civic small trunk, uh, I still have ample space to fit other things. The open has you unlocking the lever on the side and then giving it a firm flick to make sure that it extends all the way out into place. Now, it might take you a, a couple tries to get a feel for it, but you know, you'll, you'll, you'll catch on fast. Now, one thing that was missing from two of my other recommendations is height adjustment. Ergo added in a telescoping handle that allows you to adjust it uh, to four different positions, which accommodates parents of differing heights. This is another place where you can feel how the Metro Plus is definitely a step up from other popular options like Kalugo. The handlebar, it just, it fits into my palm a bit better. Uh, it's, it's pretty similar to the menu, uh, you know, great feel with the leather. I'm liking it. But real quick, I wanna talk about tip over. I explained it in depth more in my Klugo review, but basically if, if you like to hang your diaper bag on the handle uh, when your child is not seated in the stroller, some options may have a tendency to tip over because of the handle's position in comparison to the back wheels. It wasn't an issue with Kalugo, whereas it kind of was for the menu. With the Metro Plus, note that when it's at its lowest position, you, you know, you'll probably be fine, but heavier bags will tip it if it's fully extended. But real quick, if you're liking this review, please hit that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. And also you can find everything that I'm talking about linked down below. Buying through those links helps support this channel at no additional cost to you guys. So thank you. Now moving on, it's not something that I really clued into before. Um, I guess I've been pretty happy with it, but the, the, the Kalugo Compact, it does feel a little bit more unstable uh, on pivots and on turns in comparison to the Metro and the Menu. Not to the point that it feels like you know it's gonna break or anything, but if you're just pivoting it back and forth, it feels almost like there's an added uh, after sway to it, like a building moving during an earthquake, kind of. I guess that's maybe, I guess it's maybe a bad way of putting it, but what I'm trying to get at is that it's such a subtle difference for me to point out, but I do find myself using less force with my wrists and my forearms on turns and on pivots with the Metro Plus in comparison to the Kalugo Compact. That might be because of the slightly larger reels or maybe it's just a better chassis builds or I don't, the handlebars, I don't know. But what I do know is pushing the Metro Plus is just simply better. Another place where you can feel that improved quality is gonna be in the seat. The seat has a few fun things going on here, including an added bit of versatility. It can uh, accommodate littles from the newborn stage up through 50 pounds, so they may stop using it and trickle off around age three or four. Uh, the seat cover can be removed for easy cleaning, which is super convenient. You're not limited to spot cleaning it like other options. The seat uh, also has a deep recline. Uh, and the interesting thing here is that there's no need for an additional newborn kit. While it's reclined, you can also bring up the footrest and tucked underneath uh, is additional siding that can be snapped to the sides of the seat and effectively create a bassinet. So in one compact stroller, you have a newborn and toddler option, which is brilliant. Now, note that I don't think it can fold down in that mode, so you might have to undo the snaps a little bit before you you know you, you 
fold it back down. And also it can adapt to a limited amount of car seats. So I'll link that down below uh, for you to check out. This is almost a perfect stroller for me. The only thing I'd probably ding it on is just the canopy. It offers a, a good amount of coverage uh, where it can come down pretty far. I think for that reason, they didn't really add any extended coverage. When adjusting, it, it does kind of feel snappy. It's less of a hollow thud and, and more of like an audible clacking, which kind of feels a little bit odd. Also, when pulled all the way back, uh, it can interfere with the handlebar if the handlebar is in its lowest position. So just things that I noticed, not big deal breakers though. The basket is a little bit more shallow, but we use it for a few small things just fine. And it can carry you know, a decent amount of small groceries, but don't expect it to haul a ton. The wheels are polyurethane rubber. We took it to a farm that kind of like doubled as a petting zoo and it handled the gravel pretty nicely. It was definitely a little bit bumpy, uh, so not ideal like 100% of the time, but it does fine on surfaces like that on occasion. Lastly, at the back is a single pedal brake. The only thing I'm gonna comment on here is that when I'm unlocking it, I tend to use the top of my foot. So if you're barefoot, if you're in sandals, it might feel a little bit uncomfortable. So to round it out, guys, I love this stroller. I think it's thoughtfully designed. I think it's uh, delivering great quality at such a good price point for the first time in three years. I can honestly say that like, I think I've got a new favorite compact stroller. So take that for what it's worth, but stay tuned for next week because I've got a fun mid-size stroller that you will not want to miss. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for young families, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless. Later.